Hey everyone, welcome. It's Saturday night. We're gonna talk. Well, Saturday night here in Greece, eight hours back for you. It's probably I don't know afternoon or before that. I didn't even look at the time. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Why am I talking like that? Anyways, I'm sorry. Lucy, Lucy Scientific is what we are going to talk about in this video. We're going to do an IPO review for Lucy Scientific. Let's get started with the video. Are you looking for a Discord platform that offers a first-class trading community? That's what you can expect when you join Bull Market Watch. Trading can be challenging for some people, but we're here to simplify the process for you. We have a very powerful track record. Our Discord deals with day trades, swing trades, and long-term trades. Hundreds of traders operate through our Discord, where we come up with stocks to trade for profits on the NASDAQ and in YSE. With a low monthly subscription of $9.90, you will have full access to our Discord where you can interact with other traders and get all the latest news when it comes to trading as well. It's a community that is extremely supportive of one another and always willing to help each other out. Become a member of Bull Market Watch today and be on your way to a better financial situation. All right, so Lucy Scientific Discovery has filed for an $8 million US IPO. It is available for pre-order right now, so you can pre-order this. The company seeks to become a contract manufacturer for the regular medical psychotropics industry in Canada and potentially in the US. The company is based in Canada and it was created to develop manufacturing capabilities for, ph for pharmaceutical grade medical psychotropics uh, for the treatment of various mental health and, and addiction disorders. Management is uh, headed by President and CEO Christopher McElvany, if I pronounce it right, and he has been with the company since March 2021. The company's products are psilocybin, LSD, MDMA, and mesaline. Now, I'm, I'm, I understand that that doesn't really explain what they are, but um, those are the products. Uh, they have received so far $30.8 million in investments, and the investors who have invested in this company are Estatine Capital, Roma Ventures, DPL Capital, Profits Investment, Roxy Capital, Ethesias Capital, and um, among others, there's, other, there's, also, there's others also. Now here we can see the total expenses for the company because the company doesn't have any revenue, none. All right, so they, this is a company that hasn't sold anything yet. But it's amazing to be honest. I mean, it's it's not it's interesting that they have received thirty, nearly thirty one million dollars in investments from some notable investors. So I'm, you know, that's it draws my attention somehow. It's like, why would they do that? Maybe it, they feel the potential of the company, obviously, uh, or the industry itself uh, feel that that would grow, which probably will. Now, the in 2021, their total expenses were $714,000. 2022, $828,000. Net loss went from $1.3 million to, it's pretty much almost the same. It was $1,340,000 in 2021 and $1,371,000 in 2022 so slightly increase so the company has 16 point has 16,398 dollars in cash 10.8 million dollars in total liabilities and they are negative 246 thousand dollars in their free cash flow so what do they intend to sell two million shares four bucks eight million dollar total ipo right so two million shares four bucks each then uh, the total ipo is eight million dollars West Park Capital is the underwriter, and the company's financials have zero revenue as um, as of now. So that's it, really. I mean, for me, to be honest, uh, based on the fact that they have no revenue, obviously, it's 100% a, a company that I would not want to invest in, right? I would not. I don't like investing in companies that have zero revenue. Unless I'm, I mean, it would have to be on a very rare, rare situation um you know if it was a chinese network one financial then i wouldn't even care what the financials were i would get in because i know it would pop and so on or at least that's how it always worked out in 2021 but you have west park capital no revenue um it is it's not a chinese ipo overall i think that it's best for me to stay out of it that's just my opinion i mean i could be wrong but just to be safe um i am definitely not going to pre-order this Thank you very much for watching this video and I wish you all the best. Take care.